My philosophy about teaching is we must treat students not as bottles to be filled, but candles to be lit. And I've taken that philosophy into teaching cookery workshops. So we decided to give them a bag of ingredients and recipe cards and get them to cook in their own kitchen. First of all, it gives the families a free meal. It gets the families cooking together. And from the friendly food club point of view, it builds up a, a, a vast number of people who will come to our workshops once we start again. He's the reason that we're all here. He's inspiration in that respect and a great mentor. He made me have more confidence before I didn't have confidence in myself. I would not talk, but he, he, he put the confidence in me and uh, he helped me a lot. He's always our boss and our hero. In today's exercise, it is uh, falafel. Uh, so all the ingredients in there. We then make a video of Mayada, who's making these lovely falafels. George films it, and we send the boxes out with a recipe and put the how to do it video on YouTube. It, it's amazing watching a young kid, for instance, or a, or a mum, making the first omelette. And it works, and it's nice, and it's a full meal, and it's cheap. Yeah, I feel they've actually made a difference to someone, and that's what it's all about. It's always very friendly. That's why we called it Friendly Food Club. <laughs> He's someone that we all, all of us who work for the Friendly Food Club, aspire to be as good as him. And I think it's really nice for some recognition for what he, what he does and what he's still doing at the age of 81, which I think is pretty awesome.